Hello and welcome back to another 100 infant baby challenge 2.0 and you may notice that the lighting is a little bit darker on my camera and that is because I've got a little bit of a headache but I wanted to record for you lot so I'm powering through but I don't have my like usual lighting turned on so I hope that that's okay but I'm excited to jump back into our challenge and see what happens. So at the moment we have got a full household of kiddos. Obviously we've got my sim self Taz. We then have River who honestly has been here for so long he needs to move out. We need to get him moved out in 10 hours. He needs to get an A in school today. We then have got recently aged up Akira who's on a C. He needs to do a fair few things to age up. We have Kai who's on a B and then the toddlers Alice and Rosalie. Alice doesn't have potty. Why does she not have potty? I don't know but she's doing okay with like she just needs movement and thinking and Rosalie needs a fair few things okay and then we've got Quinn and love. Love Quinn. So lots to get crack -a with today so let's just like jump straight into it and the one thing that i do want to make sure is that oh, this maybe. guy moves out so forget about your bath you need to get a skill to level three and the closest that we have is fitness skill just go for a swim around in the sea and hopefully that gets that fitness up to level three taz you are hungry so while everybody is asleep you go help yourself to some food get yourself all sorted oh we've got lots of plates to sell yeah, get yourself all, all sorted and figured out. Something that I did ask you a lot as well is what we should do about all of these blooming graves because every single night the ghosts come in and they're always messing around with our stuff. So Taz is always like having to focus on repairing the toilet or repairing the shower. And it kind of an is annoying when it comes to like different things because we need the shower and we need the bath for to bathe the babies. So a lot of you were saying, you know, to keep the graves and keep the ghosts, but just maybe have them on a different lot so i thought that we could use one of the gravestones not the gravestones uh one of the graveyards that i've made i actually recently made one for my sims and bloom legacy challenge if you've not checked out that series we're on to like fourth gen now um lots of episodes to binge through it's quite a fun series as well but this is the graveyard that we made for that so i'm thinking we could just take this and add the graves to that maybe so perhaps we'll do that in today's episode let's go sell all of these bowls as well get a little bit of money because we don't have a lot of money at the moment unfortunately look at them here they come literally one by one and off he goes to haunt the bath and are you gonna haunt the sink no you're gonna talk in the mirror but it wouldn't surprise me if you do haunt the sink right perfect river Le reached level three of fitness so he can now come on inside and head to bed ready for class and hopefully he gets an a Ooh, love got a reach milestone she started moving her little arms to reach for nearby objects okay if you've missed any of my previous 100 baby episodes since the infant update came out the way that we're gonna do it is by dr gluon's rules and he tweeted that a way to age them up into toddlers is that they need to get two of every single milestone you can obviously adjust that if you want to make it a little bit harder but we're gonna do two of each one so fine motor first gross motor and social life isn't as important it's just in the skills and stuff he's gonna feed the child which is good this is quinn kabaz so once he's fed i think we'll take this guy out to swim because he needs to get level two in a skill ready for school in a few hours and we need to make sure that they're going in with like the perfect skills complete homework done ready to get a's because we need to be aging them up and moving them out asap oh gosh love has had her first blowout milestone great for us and the whole milestone thing but not so good for Taz to clean up. Alice is very hungry. She needs to be fed. Well, go help yourself to this, whatever that is. Um, we're gonna send all the students alone as this is more of like a challenge series rather than like really focusing on the gameplay. We're not gonna go to school with them, but they're all heading off to school. He's so close to getting level two in fitness. So I'm tempted to let him go with that. He's gonna be maybe half an hour late, but there we go. Okay, off you go, Akira, head to school. Okay, this is deja vu. The girls are in here bob into the music working on that movement skill while she's sorting out the infants we'll get the little toddlers to kind of sort themselves out if we can i think i want to move the baby's bedroom to kind of be over here maybe kai was cheating on a test in school um let him retake the test we're pretty we're pretty chill right can you put this child down 
You have a child is screaming. Please put this one down. Okay, good. Right, she needs to be fed and bathed. Rosalie and Alice are still bobbing away to the music. Both very close to level three here. Then we will work on thinking skill, I think. If we, she can just sort out the infants, then we can like solely focus on the toddlers and helping them with their skills. Okay, Alice reached movement level three and so did Rosalie. Okay, awesome. Ooh, tomorrow's the day to be romantic. Does Taz have that special someone to spend the day with? with no we absolutely do not why are all my kids cheating on their quizzes retake the blooming test have we not taught you not to cheat she says as tads has cheated on all of her different lovers i didn't know what you're talking about we would never do such a thing oh god now the toddlers are stink as well we literally this is the thing it takes so long to sort every individual baby out whether it's an infant or a toddler because actually do you know what i might do instead of giving the toddlers a bath we could clean them in the sink that is probably going to be quicker, right? If we clean up the girls in the sink. Why did Tabby just get a negative sentiment? He's ignored. Tabby's feeling overshadowed by his sibling. Oh, Tabby babes, you moved out. We've got like, we've had seven different kids since you lived here. Okay, love just unlocked the first bath milestone, which is good. Tabby babes, I get that you've come around to visit, but honestly, like you're not doing the 100 baby challenge. So you don't really know what's going on, but we need to focus on these kiddos. Taz is feverish. Oh, God. Why? Well, she's already had different illnesses. Didn't she have an aneurysm? She died and got brought back to life and now she's got a fever? Oh, jeez. Now she needs a blooming bath. Okay, what we are going to do... Tabby, why would you keep getting random things of water? Made by Tabby. Made by Tabby. Why has Tabby literally brought out three glasses of water for attention? It's like, well, you're not going to give me attention and you're just going to care for that little infant? I'm going to put three glasses of water on the floor so that you can't leave the room and you have to talk to me. Doesn't quite work like that babes okay their hygiene's going up a little bit from cleaning them up in the sink which is good go and help yourselves to some foodies and then we're going to get taz to help you with flashcards i think actually taz once you've given rosalie a clean up you can potty train her because she actually does need the potty now and it would be quite helpful if she got to level two so she could go on her own oh alice also needs to potty wait we need two potties here i know that they say that when one's going potty the other one can watch as well and it will help their skill go up so maybe we can do that although she's eating food right now so by the time she's done eating her food i think rosalie may be done on the potty Ooh, akira got a b at school kai got an a and river also got an a which means that river can now be aged up into a young adult and we'll be moving him out and kai oh the thing's gone stink oh for goodness sake okay let's get rid of that and um, river babes we're a bit busy so you're gonna have to go ahead and make your own birthday cake and off you go well done why are all these random women coming in why are you here get out of it if you want to go for a swim go for a swim but my house is not a beach house you can't just come in and use our facilities thinking that it's a beach club okay <laughs> Okay, stop crying and blow out your candles. Make a wish. River has been a great help around the house. To be quite honest, when it has come to the babies, but it's time to move them out. Okay, materialistic is his final trait. So he is a bookworm, kleptomaniac, and materialistic. Let's make him a criminal because he has non-stop swiped things from school. He's always... Rivers finished his high school and graduated with honours. I thought it was university where you get honours, right? I mean, that's what it's like in the UK. You can graduate with honours at university. Anyway, well done, River. Go ahead and put some birthday candles on here for your brother, and then we will move you out. And love, unlock the ma- 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 <laughs> buff? Laugh milestone. Right, River. Oh my god, so much is going on. So much is happening right now. Right, is he blown out his candles? He has. We're not having preteen. That modern has been causing me a fair few issues recently so ignore that his second trait is glutton and he is into his foodies and whatnot and while things are being so chaotic i'm just gonna head to the managed worlds and move river out so river is a criminal or he wants to be a criminal. So I'm going to send you to the big city. I don't even remember who River's dad was. Why don't we move you in with baby Ariel? And that is River done and dusted. 
Baby Ariel had a son as well. Cool. Okay, let's nip back into our family and then we're gonna go into Cass. Okay, so this is Akira's twin brother and this is the other child of Isamu, the Bob Ross looking guy, right? So let's go ahead and pop some CC on him. And this is Kai with his CC makeover. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Oh my Lord, I did not see that chin. I'm assuming he inherited that from Isamu, but I thought I'd give him some like sideburn, some side fluff as well. But there you go. That is Kai Kabaz. Ooh, Quinn just unlocked the grab milestone. Where is Quinn? Oh, he's in here. Hold on a minute. So how are they doing them for their skills? Because they're unlocking a fair few. So we've got two fine motor, two firsts, two social. We just need gross motor. Is that things like learning to roll over and stuff? Why don't we try putting Quinn down here? Okay. Quinn learned to lift his head. Now, is that the gross motor? Yes. Okay. Let's keep doing tummy time then and see what he can get because then we can blimmin' age him up as well. We need to get her pregnant as well. Okay, lots of repeated tummy time. You can go for a jog maybe. Work on that fitness skill. Oh, he's doing a lot better at tummy time, I must say. Hopefully that means he'll get another little milestone. Speedy, speedy, come on. Oh, wait a minute. Roll over to back. Does that mean, is, is it time? Okay, so he's got two fine motor. He's got two firsts. Wait, wait, the roll over to the back. There's the roll over to the back, which means it is time to age the little screamy boy up. We want to help blow out candles. Quinn. Love just needs another gross motor and another fine motor. She's doing better on her first and her social. Okay. Wait a minute. River's just moved out and he's got married to Summer Holiday? Oh my god, the drama. The drama. He has taken his opportunity and spent little to no time in um, sorting that arrangement. Also, Oliver got married too. Didn't Oliver move out before? I think so. God, these mac and cheese look absolutely disgusting, but at least it's food. Okay, there we go. Quinn is aging up and he is one two, three. Wait, one, two, three. Oh no, I wish I'd have stuck with Blimmin' Inquisitive. I thought it didn't roll because it was the same thing. Fussy. Oh my lord, he's got Quiff Centro over there. Look at the little Quiff on him. He is so stink. There's lots of screaming, crying, moaning going on in game. So I thought, why don't we just pop into Cass and give Quinn a CC makeover? Who do you belong to? I actually don't know whose child this is. Is it Bella? No. Oh, I can't remember. Oh well, let me just whack some CC on him. And this is little Quinn Kabaz as a toddler. Okay, do we have like any reward points where we can always be awake, like never sleepy, need less sleep. Okay, that is what we need. But now hopefully she should, I say that and she's still shattered, but hopefully she shouldn't need to sleep as much. What's 4,000 points? So why is she still sleepy? Ooh, love rolled over onto her back. So she literally just needs a fine motor skill now. So hold on a minute, leave her there and she can sleep at this. Why don't you play with your toys and work on the fine motor? Taz, grab some food quick and head to bed because you need to relax a little bit. Yes. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to care for these kiddos if you're tired yourself. Stop breaking all of this. Okay, we need to send these ghosts to a grave. Wait a minute, has she done that? Grab milestone? Okay, so she's done two fine motor, more than two first, two gross motor and two social. Okay, sorry Taz, no sleepies yet. Bring the cake back out of the fridge and let's help love blow out the candles. Oh my God, Taz is so dirty. She's pooed her pants. She needs a shower and she needs sleep. But little love is aging up with the wild trait. Why are none of my toddlers independent? For goodness sake. I just want you all to be able to look after yourselves. Okay, and let's quickly nip into Kat and give Love a toddler CC makeover as well. Whose child did Love and Quinn belong to? I meant to check that. Completely forgot to check that in when I left Kat earlier. And then this is little Love's CC makeover. I, can't, I need to find out their baby donor because they've both got quite full faces. So I want to work out who it is because they probably got that from their baby donor. Um... Oh, that makes sense. Dwayne Taller. Yeah, I think Dwayne has quite a full face as well. So yeah, Dwayne was their baby donor. That makes sense. Right. What I am going to do is put all of these ghosts into Taz's inventory. Did we kill the last baby donor? 
Tad's had a nightmare about achieving everything that she ever wanted in life. Good thing that'll never happen. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, we did kill Dwayne's. Uh, we killed Dwayne with the Murphy bed. Right, I literally cannot deal with this. Taz has been up preparing the upstairs bathroom all night. And now everything, everything downstairs is broken. Today is a Friday and it is the last day that these teens can potentially age up and move out. You, Akira, are more likely to be aging up and moving out than your brother Kai because you were a B. So if we can get you an A today, that'll be ideal. We do have class in two hours though. We just need to get one of your skills to level three and fitness is looking like it's going to be the best one. Um, you're in a good mood this morning though. So can you go and swim outside and get that fitness skill up? I'm really going to focus on him today and the toddlers have woken up wanting attention wanting a little bit of love this one needs to be potty trained so let's potty train alice oh this is stressful you lot taz needs to have a bath herself because she's stink right she's being potty trained so while she's doing that can we repair everything what an absolute nightmare this little tent is amazing because the babies can sleep in it so you've got quinn and love both sleeping outside in this tent yes okay akira reached fitness level three just in time to head to school and he is in a very confident mood so this should go well and then hopefully we can move him out today could be quite a successful episode today with two of the kiddos moving out oh wait you could get a b if you keep going You've got literally a few minutes ready before school, but you could do this. We could just send you in a little bit late. Send all students alone. Oh, he did it. Well done, Kai. Okay, awesome. So he could potentially get a B today as well, um, which will get us closer to him moving out as well. We've not done too badly today, I would say. Let's get them all actively... Oh, Akira likes fitness. Nice. All actively participating at school today. Taz is literally asleep in the bathtub. Let's just nip into Manage Worlds and I'm going to go ahead and place down the graveyard that I showed you a lot earlier and let's place it down in Forgotten Hollow. Right, Taz has got to get out of the house. She's been startled by a ghost. She's unnerved from fear of ghosts. We need to get these ghosts out of here. So we've got the graves in our inventory. We're going to go travel on our own without the toddlers for five minutes. I love how... One starts screaming the minute it goes back into live mode. And we're going to head over to Forgotten Hollow and visit a graveyard. I know it's like going from one graveyard to another, what with all the graves that she had at her house. But we just need to get them out of here because they are constantly haunting the house every single night. They're breaking everything every single day and we just can't do it anymore. She's always having to go ahead and repair all of the things every day. And it's taking up time and she needs to be putting that time into helping the kids with their skills and everything so this is a graveyard that i have built there is a youtube video here on my main youtube channel of this building this so check that out if you want to see the process but can we just drag oh we can we can just drag the graves in so i'm just gonna very nicely pop all of these graves here and um, let's put this vampire one next to the vampire grave and i'm hoping now that that'll be the end of it i mean whenever like you know eventually all of our baby donors will end up here and maybe we'll remove some of these other gravestones to replace them but hopefully now that is the end of our ghost haunting house and we can have a bit of peace and quiet and Taz will no longer fear the ghosts. Um, if you do want to download this as well, it is literally set up for a 10 gen legacy challenge. So if you're doing Sims in Bloom, if you're doing um, the Not So Berry challenge, it is like perfect for that because there are 10 different rooms, five on each side where you can bury your um, each gen heir and then maybe design the room or the crypt or the mausoleum or whatever you want to call it ready for that gen. So for example, first gen of Sims in Bloom um, was Daisy gen and her colours were yellow and white so we decorated this in a yellow and white theme so yeah let me know if you do want to use that but i'm so glad that we've moved them out of the house so let's go back to our spawns and work on their skills at least they're all getting some things that while they're at nursery that's good has is running away as fast as she can she's like get me out of this horrible neighborhood oh my lord she's terrified the graves the vampires everywhere it is quite scary, bless her. But Taz, can you go and mop the floor and get yourself... Oh my Lord, I was going to say get yourself a shower. Hopefully this should be the last time we have to repair. Do you remember I said how upstairs was fine and it was just downstairs that the ghosts had broke? No, no, it was everything in every bathroom. So I am going to get Taz to repair all of this and I'm hoping it is the last time that she has to do that.
that. But yeah, I'm so glad we moved them out into their own graveyard. What do we need to work on for you? Potty and thinking. Right, you kids, I just want you both to be working on your iPads for now. While Taz is sorting out all these different things, you need to work on communication, thinking and potty. Oh Lord. Do you thinking, do the same as your sister, just so I know. And you're stink and you're hungry. So you're helping yourself to some food. And then maybe you can go and play in the tent. Do some like make-believe and stuff in the tent. Get that imagination skill up. I wish we could just like replace all of the bathroom. Ooh, well done, Quinn. Get an imagination level two. I wish we could replace the whole bathroom without her having to repair it. But I literally don't have the money right now. During art class, Kai was instructed to create flower-themed cards for each other. It is love day. Nice. We have no date. <laughs> cool. After gathering glitter, colour pencils, construction paper petals and fuzzy pipe cleaners, he sat down. His creative juices were flowing. The cards would be shared and open with the rest of the class during the party later, so it had to be good. Do we do hilarious ones or heartfelt? Let's do hilarious. Who takes Love Day seriously anyway? Those kids with sappy cards were saps. Not Kai. Everyone that opened his cards had a good laugh and now he's considered the funniest kid in school. Who knew Kai would be such a comedian? Okay. Maybe we end up going down the comedy route with little old Kai. And when the teacher asked for volunteers to help set up for the Love Day dance, Akira was quick to raise his hand. Not only would he get out of class, but he'd be given a unique opportunity. Decorate for the best dance ever. He went in with hopes ablaze and he planned to make it the best love day dance. That was before he saw what he had to work with. So Awful nice. decorations, no snacks, weird music. Nobody else had volunteered. So basically everybody ended up blaming him because they, they weren't happy with the dance. Okay, your imagination skill is up to level three. Nice. Why don't you go and play in the cupboards? Do you know what? They removed the ability to babble to that... Um, you know, the big teddy bears, they remove that ability. You would just spam babble and it would get the communication skill up so quickly. But you can't do that anymore, which sucks. You have to actually talk to your kids. Imagine that. What a shambles. I don't really know how quickly playing in the cupboards puts up their thinking skill, to be honest with you. But they may as well just do that while Taz is repairing everything. Right, everything is now repaired and hopefully that is the last of it. She is absolutely shattered though. This is the thing. It's really hard for her to help her kids when she's constantly having to shower, constantly having to sleep. I got her the sleep potion. Not the sleep potion, the trait, right? Did I not? Seldom sleepy. They need less sleep than others. Why don't we get her to go to sleep and try and get those? Actually, to be fair, can we afford a potion? now sleep replacement oh no we only need like 55 more points okay go get some sleep yes. because you're not gonna be you're just gonna pass out on them um and it's really annoying so they do have food there is food available and they can get into bed if they need bed they do have food like there is food available and they like can get into their bed so if they need sleep but we just don't have taz to help them out with their skills at the minute because she's got to sleep oh this is really interesting when they play in the cupboards it brings out all this junk i didn't know that maybe while taz is sleeping when the teenagers get back from school they can potentially help them with skills why have you come in here and used our bath christy kibo a teenager you should be at school should you not it is school hours and yet you've just pranced in here and helped yourself to go and use our bath. Who do you think you are? We're not made of money. Do we look like we can pay for your water? Our bills are high enough as it is. We don't need you using the blooming bathtub. What I am going to do now do is lock for everyone but the household so no one can just come on into the house and help themselves to our facilities. Okay, please get an A in school. Ooh, Akira got an A and Kai got a B. Nice. Kai does have a test coming up. So he can study for the exam. He can't do his homework because he's got to study and put that first. And obviously Akira did get an A, so we can age him up into an adult. But I don't know if I'm going to move him out until I am like ready to do so. Let's see what his final trait is going to be. I think it was Kai, wasn't it, that was doing the comedy stuff at school. Kira's final trait is glutton and he likes music. So, well, he's a music lover. Let's do musical genius. So this little pudding pie reached thinking level three, doing it on her own. So I am going to get Kai to keep potty training her and get this potty training skill up. And Rosalie, oh wait, that one's Rosalie, sorry. Alice is the one that got level three in thinking. Rosalie is a little bit behind. So how's Taz doing now? Taz is no longer sleepy. So let's get her working with Rosalie on communication and thinking. So why don't we do some flashcards? And oh my Lord, it just came up saying that Quinn's quirk is that he is a messy eater. But 
jeez Louise, there's messy and then there is literally covering the floor in every bit of food that is on your plate. That is ridiculous. Why are there five bits of food? Oh my word. I mean, at least we can sell it for money, to be fair. Thinking is the one to get up to level three and then when she's done that, we'll nip over and do communication. Love loves water, okay. Well, why don't you go have fun in the, in the sea? We're right next to a big puddle of water believe it or not. And Alice can now use a potty chair on her own, but obviously it is always going to help with the adults helping out. Why is this child going in circles? You may as well, while you're here, you may as well watch her. How do you watch her? Where is the watch option? Wait a minute. Do they have to watch the potty or do they, do they watch Alice? See, I do love this new like menu of different things. Oh, there we go. Watch Alice. You may as well watch as well. But it is hard to get used to everything and get used to finding where everything is. That's what I'm struggling with personally. Okay, Rosalie reached thinking level three. So let's go ahead and work on teaching you to talk. Let's get rid of these piles of food everywhere from Blooming Quinn chucking his food all over the place. Okay, update, Akira has passed out. The child is still going, but she's taken herself off to bed and Akira has passed out. So we'll call it a day there. Taz has been working with Rosalie on communication still and it's gone up a bit but still not at level three. Is she even at level two? She's at level two but has a little bit to go for level three. So let's get everyone to bed and we will have to work on it in the morning. Oh no, Taz has peed her pants. Just when we'd got her clean, she's gone to pee her pants all over again. And just before we finish up today's 100 Baby episode, we can now move Akira out as he has aged up into an adult. And he is, he wants to be a writer. So why don't we send him to the English town of Hemford on Bagley? And I don't know who this family is because we can't see them. But you move in with them and have a fun time in England. Ooh, Faze is a po poet. Oh, poetic. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll have a nice time with them and finding out about their story and write in all about your time in England. And we're going to finish this episode here for today, but I hope that you enjoyed it. We are going to try and get Taz pregnant soon. I do realise that she is not pregnant yet but I've just been focused on aging up these infants and toddlers and whatnot and babies so it's been quite stressful to even think about bringing new babies and especially newborns that scream so loudly into our sims world but hopefully in the next episode we'll get her pregnant so leave me some name suggestions but also leave me who you would like for her to uh, woohoo next who you would like to be the next baby donor and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well and don't forget to turn on the post notification so that you never miss a 100 baby episode. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Taz out. <laughs>